How to interpret acid-base disorders can generally be classified using a three-step process. Further interpretation may be necessary if compensatory mechanisms require evaluation. Acid-base lab values that are typically presented include pH, PCO2, and HCO3 bicarbonate, shown by the pH strip, partial pressure gauge CO2, and bicarbom. In the first step, we evaluate pH, which normal range is 7.35 to 7.45, the pH strip. A value lower than 7.35 is termed acidosis, the acidic lemon. A value higher than 7.45 is termed alkalosis, the elk loser. In the second step, you should evaluate pCO2, the partial pressure gauge CO2, which has a normal range of 35 to 45 millimeters mercury. It's important to look at this value and determine if the value is going in the opposite direction as pH, indicated by the arrow pointing in the opposite direction as the pH strip, as this would indicate that the disorder were either respiratory acidosis, the respirator acidic lemon, or respiratory alkalosis, the respirator elk loser. It's easy to remember that pH and pCO2 are in opposite directions in a respiratory disorder, just like breathing in and out, opposites. If the pCO2 is normal or in the same direction as pH, then skip to step three. In the third step, we look at HCO3, or bicarbonate, the bicarbom, which has a normal value of 22 to 26 millimeters mercury. In this step, determine if bicarbonate is going in the same direction as pH, indicated by same direction on pH strip. This would indicate that the problem is likely metabolic acidosis, the metal ball acidic lemon, or metabolic alkalosis, the metal ball elk loser. So to recap, mastering acid-base balances can be simplified to a three-step process. Determine pH as high or low, indicating acidosis or alkalosis. Then, secondly determine if pCO2 is going in an opposite direction as pH, which would indicate a respiratory disorder. If pCO2 is going in the same direction, or is normal, skip to a third step and evaluate HCO3, bicarbonate. If bicarbonate is going in the same direction as pH, it's likely a metabolic disorder. Everything we learned today and more is available inside of the Picmonic learning system. So what are you waiting for? Go to Picmonic.com today and try it for free and find out why over 100,000 students are learning smarter learning faster, and remembering it longer with fun pictures using Pipmonic.